What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're installing our Reese fifth wheel rail kit on the truck. Now, on the previous truck, the white truck on the channel, we had a universal kit and this one we stepped it up just a little bit and we got these nicer kits, these quick install kits that have these big brackets on the side. No drilling into the frame for these, just in the bed. The bed, there's drilling. There's 10 holes that need drilled, not that bad. And I just finished kind of fixing up some rust and messing around with that and on each side. Really it was this weld seam I was fixing. So since the rail's gonna go there, I didn't wanna have to deal with paint chipping up and I was being weird, I'm not gonna lie. But I will say that spot right there looked just like that rusty spot there. Now guys, before we get into this install, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop your comments down below or questions down below. What did you think? I will have links to this kit. I'll have links to the universal kit, which I've used. And actually there's another one of these quick install kits that's slightly different, but I'll drop a link down to that one below as well. The reason I went with this one over the other quick install kit is it actually has all four bolt holes on the bracket. Whereas the other one, I think it's the front ones aren't on the bracket. It's just one on the bracket, then you have another one. I don't know. Very small detail, because it is nice stuff. I really like Reese products. But I just thought it would be nicer if it was all in one piece. Again, small detail. Tons of guys have used the other ones. Tons of guys have used the, the universal kits like I have. In comparison, this makes the universal kits look a little weak. But that being said, I've towed a lot of miles with my universal kit and I've never had an issue. One other thing guys, for the, this is obviously a short bed for you long bed guys. It shouldn't change at all because the length is in the front of the wheel that's added, not behind it. So you should still be fine to listen to what this video has to say, but I do encourage people double check because there are some small differences between years and different kits. So just make sure you have the most up to date information for the kit you get. Okay guys, so here we have our kit. I'll uh, loosely center this up between these weld seams. Now at this part, I just have hammer and a punch and a marker. So we're gonna start our measuring here. And just like I recommend measuring twice, I remember, I remember double or triple checking the number you're looking for. So we're at 27 and 5 eighths. And that is to the end of the bracket. All right, so I got two, two lines marked here. So we're gonna bring our bracket up. And then we're gonna center it up. So we have, this is three quarters of an inch. Okay, so we have, there's almost exactly a half inch between this, hopefully you guys see the weld seam here. There's a half inch from there to the bracket. I did front and rear on each side. We're gonna check that one more time. And we're gonna double check to make sure that we're right at 27 and 5 eighths here on the bracket. Okay, so we have this lined up. We have a half inch off the edge here and this is 27 and 5 eighths we have i have checked this multiple times so front of the bed that way we're at the rear of the bed and then we took a punch we punched all of our holes that we're going to do so again these uh inner two on each side and the towards the center of the bed that hole there so now we're going to move the bracket and we're going to drill our first pilot hole No turning back now, guys. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit of a baby about drilling holes in my bed. But now after you get these first ones done, we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna make sure our bracket lines up with these initial holes we just drilled. So good, everything lines up like I knew it would, but I'm just being a baby right now because I've never drilled through my bed before. All right, so here's the driver's side bracket. Now you know it's the driver's side bracket. It's got this little loop 
under here. This is going to go towards the front of the truck. So we're good there. Another little trick. You could stick something down those holes to make sure they line up as well. Uh, I'm just holding the bracket in place using my finger to feel them. All right, so we went from our 1 8th. We're now going to go to a 9 16th. All right, guys, got a new bit here. We have a step drill bit. We're going to 9 16th. Side note, step drill bits are stupidly expensive. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather just have all the different drill bits I want in a regular one and work my way up to it, you know, half inch, then 9 16ths, but step drill bit works well too. Just, uh, I was kind of shocked at how expensive they were. Kind of cool, I don't know if this is showing up, but there's two layers of bed I felt drilling through them, but I don't know, I thought that was kind of interesting. So with the step drill bit, with the parts that are two pieces of metal you're drilling through, like right here, uh, it looks like all the holes towards the front of the bed have two, and then the, my two at the end, it's just a single sheet you're drilling through. But anyway, so for these ones, you need to go a little bit bigger on the upper hole to get it. Now remember, these brackets are gonna sit over it, and this bolt's gonna lock in there. So you're not gonna see this, but I am gonna quick take a second, clean all around these holes up good, and we're gonna put some uh, primer and a quick little bit of spray paint on it. Like I said, I think I said earlier, I was fixing up some spots, goofing around, so I have something. It's not the exact match, but it's close enough for what we're doing. Now we are gonna get these brackets on the side lined up and get them loosely in position. We're gonna snug them up. We're not gonna tighten them all the way down yet. We're just gonna snug them up because we need a little bit of play for the front rails yet. Little speed bump we ran into. All the instructions I said do, say to do this at a later point. But I do wanna say when you have your holes drilled for this rail here. So you're gonna put little spacers up here. Now this one here is fine, but when you have this bracket that the bed rail goes on, like the lower uh, frame support kind of jobber, you have to get it between the ridges in your bed, corrugation or something, something goofy like that. Anyway, you gotta get it between the bracket for this and that. So I dropped this bracket to be able to put that in. The other thing, driver side that bolt, I needed an extra hand. Uh, every, the passenger side I was able to do fine, but driver side I did need a hand to get that one on. So my neighbor came and gave me a hand. Uh, basically, I was able to go around the gas tank by the drive shaft and just barely reach that bolt if I keep it in frame. So anyway, he uh, he got that started for me, so that's how we did that part. All right, so the brackets to the frame are tight. They're just that would happen. Anyway, the brackets of the frame are snugged up. These bolts to this rear rail are all tightened up, like just hand tight enough that it's not easily moving. Now, so what we did here, notice that there's no bolts in this front frame, or front rail, excuse me. So we have this, we used our fifth wheel hitch to get us lined up. We're gonna put our pins in the hitch to make sure everything lines up as nicely as possible. And then we are gonna measure from this weld seam here to the bracket again, and just make sure that we're as squared up as we can be. After that, we're gonna punch our holes, all five of them. We're gonna get this all lined up completely, get our punches going, move the hitch, move the rail again, and start drilling. Okay guys, so day two, because we ran into an issue, and that is not my hitch. That's my neighbor's hitch over there. That's my hitch. And what happened is my hitch doesn't work with these rails. Apparently, the 16K quick slide from Reese only fits a special kind of rail they sell and not these guys so we need to get a new hitch my neighbor was nice enough to let me borrow his so anyway we put that in got it lined up we have our holes drilled here and I just did a couple coats of primer and paint So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set this back in. We're gonna put the hitch in so it's all lined up. 
We're gonna put our pins in so we know it all fits and we're gonna start tightening stuff up. We have all of our spacers in. There's another one up here somewhere. So spacers are all in, except these middle guy, this middle guy here is not because that one doesn't need, because that one doesn't need pressed in to like under a seam or something. So we'll have to hold that one up as we screw on the nut. Anyway, so I'm gonna get this lined up and then I'll get back with you guys in a second. We'll go underneath the truck and I'll start showing you that. Okay, so we have everything pretty well set up here. These outside bolts are all uh, hand tight. We're gonna go around, we're gonna snug them up. Then we're gonna do our middle bolts. Don't have anything on them yet underneath. The spacer that is needed for that one is there because it goes on a, a seam for the bed rail underneath. This one is just doesn't have that, so we're just gonna have to hold it up while we put the washel, the washer, conical washer and nut on. And again, the teeth on the washer, have one over here. I don't know if that's showing up. I think that is those little baby teeth there. They face up. So here we go. We're going to tighten the rail to the bracket. Then we're going to snug up the bracket to the frame again. Uh, I have had to, to be able to fit some of the spacers in, I have had to loosen this and drop half of it to be able to fit the bra the spacer up there. But other than that, that's it. Instructions have, we're about to go through the first torque sequence. Let's see where we're at here. The mounting rails in the bed to the brackets on the frame gets torqued to 120 foot pounds. And then after you do them, then you torque the frame or the bracket to the frame and that gets done at 148 foot pounds. So we're gonna go through all that. Again, guys, make sure you have your hitch in with the pins all the way through to make sure that it actually fits. It's gonna help you keep everything lined up. Again, really happy with this kit so far. We're gonna get this torqued up and we are done. Okay guys, we're on a different day here. The install's all done. We did finish this and I forgot to shoot my ending video because I don't know what the heck I was doing guys. So anyway, we have the fifth wheel rails in, we have the side brackets, everything's all torqued. I already have my first toe under my belt with this truck now. So here we are, we have the Reese Pro Series 16K hitch, not a slider. We didn't go back to the slider, like I said. This is much lighter and easier to take out, so that's a super big plus to that. And again, the fifth wheel rails, I do like them. They're nice and heavy duty. We did determine you need to be careful because certain ones, like my hitch over there, don't quite fit in. So, and I do wanna say what it would do is it will sit in the rails. It just, you can't get your pins in to secure it to your truck or to the rails, so please bear that in mind if you're looking at some of this kit now the universal kits all of these hitches should work fine in including the one in this it's just that hitch over there the slider is very particular about which hitch it actually will sit into or not hitch rails so bear that in mind double check reese does have it on their website that that will not fit on these that that needs a specific rail set and again i just have a universal rail set and that works fine on my other truck but anyway we have another look here, so all torqued, everything's good to go here. I do recommend guys, after a little bit, go back over, recheck your torque on all 10 bolts. Remember, you do have the two in the middle you need to get to, so don't forget to hit those. Now, I do wanna say guys, like I said, this is a little bit more of an expensive option as opposed to the universal kits, about 100, at least a hundred, maybe $150 more. Don't hold me to those numbers. Again, links, affiliate links down in the description for universal kits versus specific kits for this truck. And I will say, I just, I do like the brackets. They're heavy duty, they seem cool. I do know they're gonna get in my way a little bit when I do my airbag. So you have to actually drill through the bracket. Not super thrilled about that, but it is what it is. It'll be fine. As for towing, we have a video coming soon on that. It worked well. Anyway, guys, so as far as universal kits versus this fancier kit or more expensive kit, however you want to call it, I'm going to say this. I can't tell a difference. My preference, I like the wider kits. I think they're nice. I do like them. They're easy to install. 
There's no drill, there's no additional drilling through your frame, which can get messy. I do like that time is worth something. And sometimes it just pays, it's easier just to get the kit that installs a little easier. All that said, I have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of miles with universal kits. I have friends that tow heavier campers than mine with universal kits and have never once had an issue. You do not need this kit. Do I like it? Yes. But if you're in a pinch or it's last minute guys, don't hesitate to get the universal kit. It's not gonna, you're not gonna get some vastly better driving experience with the expensive stuff over the cheap one. So again, guys, links down in the description. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, drop your comments down below. Let me know what kits you're using and I'll see you in the next upload.